our body's response to stress is fight or flight, which means that we're always either preparing to confront a threat or run away from it. You know how people say stress kills? Well, here's how. So first, adrenaline increases your energy level and your heart races. Then cortisol shuts down any non-essential body systems like the immune system, the digestive system, and the reproductive system. So that maximum energy can go to surviving the threat. Cortisol also increases your blood sugar for even more energy. And this is all great if you're confronting an actual threat. It puts you in the best place to survive an attack from a wild bear. But what if that attack never comes? Then you've got sugary blood, high blood pressure, and several important body systems are completely shut down for no good reason. When everyday occurrences start to trigger the fight or flight response and everything that I just described happens regularly, it can wreak havoc on your body. Adrenaline and cortisol are only good for you in small, infrequent doses, like drugs or alcohol. Heart disease, stroke, cancer, depression, anxiety, insomnia, those are just a few of the possible side effects of chronic stress. When I first learned about the science behind why and how stress is so bad for the body and how it can literally reduce the length of your life, I really got serious about stress reduction techniques for myself. And for me, that meant doing yoga every morning and doing breathing exercises and occasionally taking an Epsom salt bath. But everyone's different. So what might you do to try to reduce your stress?